I've been messing around with Linux for uh, almost about nine years, almost ten years. Back then, um, Linux was completely new to me, didn't really quite fully understand it. Years later, now I do, and I must say that with some Linux distributions, especially with what I use here, Ubuntu Mate, it's, it's been a completely enjoyable experience. But for this year's Vote for the Best Linux Distribution, I wanted this to be based mainly on you, and not necessarily for me as a Windows Linux dual booter. I tend to pick operating systems that are a little bit easier for beginners, but for this one I thought I'll let you guys talk based on your experiences with different Linux distributions. So based on that, I have the top three Linux-based operating systems for 2015 based on your comments and what I believe to be the number one Linux distribution for 2015. So let's take a look first at number three. Well, no surprise here, uh, Ubuntu made wonderful, uh, minimalistic, I suppose, or easy to use for beginners, uh, operating system based on the old GNOME 2 look desktop, uh, Ubuntu's pre-Unity days. GNOME 2 is, has made a fantastic comeback. I enjoy using Ubuntu Mate, dual booting this between uh, this and of course my Windows 10 machines. Uh, I, I jokingly refer to this as the romantic OS. If you don't know what that means, take a listen to my interview with the developer of Ubuntu Mate, Martin Wimpress. He tells a wonderful, warm story about the creation of Ubuntu Mate. So, based on your comments, this one was number three. Number two, a little bit of a surprise, another lightweight Linux distribution. It's Peppermint uh, OS based on the cloud. Uh, I've messed with this once before. Very lightweight, easy to use. Uh, it's not my distribution of choice personally, but for a lot of you, it seems like you really enjoy using Peppermint OS. And I believe some of the developers from Linux Mint came over to this, so it's no surprise that it is at least one of the quali quality Linux distributions you can choose. All right, so what about number one? Once again, this is not based on me. This was based on your comments, your thoughts, your votes, and what you think should be the best Linux distribution for 2015. And the winner is... Well, it's Arch Linux, and I have to tell you, as a Windows dual booter with different versions of Linux, this really comes as no surprise. I suppose, if anything, uh, em embodies the soul of, of Linux, this is probably one of those distributions that definitely deserves to be number one. Now, there are many versions of Arch. Probably, if you are new to this and wanted to try this, I would say probably... Uh, I would try something called Manjaro. Uh, now, as it says here on the Wikipedia, the design approach of the development team follows the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid, as the general guideline, and focuses on elegance, code correctness, minimalism, and simplicity, and expects the user to be willing to make some effort to understand the system's operation. I stress what it says, expects the user to be willing to make some effort, and if you are completely new to, Lin to Linux, it may take a lot of effort. Um, if you have a lot of patience, definitely check it out. This one's not for me personally, but a lot of people like it enough to make Arch Linux the number one Linux-based operating system for 2015. So congratulations to all the team members of Arch Linux. All right, well, there you have it. Based on your thoughts and your comments, Arch Linux, number one for 2015. It's not something I will use personally, and quite frankly, I'm perfectly happy with Debian-based distributions like Ubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, Linux Mint, and uh, operating systems like that. And I've gotten comfortable 
using those. That's why I have no intention to switch to something entirely different. But that's my choice and Linux does give you definitely a lot of choices. So no matter who you are, where you're from, if you are new, intermediate or advanced, when it comes to Linux based operating systems, I'm sure there is something out, if, out there just for you to at least try. And who knows, it might even replace what you are using currently. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Thank you the time uh, for taking the time for your comments and your votes for this best of Linux for 2015. I'm curious to see what will be the best for next year. But for this one, Arch Linux, according to your peers, you are number one. So congratulations once again. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. Take care.